my apologies for the most cluttered uh, workspace in history, but I'm going to give you a quick tour around my room here. I have a Prusa Mini Plus over here. This one's configured for PETG. Over here, I have a Prusa Mark III uh, configured for PLA. A Mark 2.5 configured for PETG. And I have another 3D printer around the corner of the room. Here's my Xtool D1 Pro 10 watt, which I currently have set up for rotary operations, although it's not plugged in right at this particular second. Over here is my Xtool D1 Pro 20 watt extended bed. And right now I have the IR module installed on that. Both of these lasers are connected to one Mac Mini Pro over here. And coming around the room, I have another workbench with a Roland GX24 vinyl sign machine. And it doesn't get a lot of use, but every once in a while it still comes in really, really handy. Coming around the bend here is my OM Tech 50 watt CO2 laser. And I do almost all of my cutting of acrylic and thicker woods on this machine here. I kind of use the diode lasers just for engraving. Also have a compressor that runs it uh, for an air assist. And I have a water chiller over here. Over here in this corner the OM Tech machine is managed by another Mac Mini. Which I'm going to upgrade uh, next week. I have a bunch of... Uh, Shortwave radio is tucked in the corner. I'm a licensed uh, ham as well. And over here is another Prusa Mini Plus. And behind it are a bunch of vacuum tube stereos that I rebuilt and restored. Uh, I love to do that. I have all manner of cameras laying around here. I do macro photography. And I need a bigger house and a bigger room. Also in this room, I have a uh, Sane Smart 3018 CNC machine, which I have got to sell to get it the heck out of here. It's just nothing but in my way. And that's a quick tour around my room. I also work out in here and use my Echelon spin bike, which I ride nearly daily in the wintertime here. And that's about it. Thanks for watching. But wait, there's more. This is the affectionately known Shed House. Uh, stay out, this means you. And this is my other maker space here. It's a shed in my backyard. And quick tour around this thing. I have a planer that I keep by the door because it's kind of heavy. Uh, also have a two kilowatt uh, Honda generator out here sometimes the power gets wonky out here when you run things like the table saw and the heat pump in the window at the same time sometimes the uh, it's a little bit too much for this 15 amp circuit so if i'm doing anything vital on a laser or cnc machine i'll just run the generator and run it off of that uh also i stuck a stuck an old stereo out here with a couple old realistic speakers I kind of fancy myself as an audiophile, and this system sounds pretty great, especially considering it's uh, out in the shed. Up here in the rafters, it's hard to see, but I have a computer server up here where I keep all my files. If my house burns down, I'll still have all my files and everything as well, too. I have a router table, and I just ditched an air conditioner for a heat pump because it's cold out here. Uh, this is the main reason I operate <clears throat> out in the shed here. This is a uh, Next Wave HD500 Shark CNC machine. And I do a lot of work out here. And my current niche product are these little spice wells that I make. And also I have a little belt sander over here. I've got some solar panels that I haven't hooked up yet, a uh, solar controller, and I'm also strapped on space out here. 
Uh, lastly, I've got an Ortura Laser Master 3 tucked over here in the corner. And the X tool or the Ortura will fit right on top of one of these inexpensive uh, US General Harbor Freight toolboxes, and it works just fine. And I have all manner of storage and everything. And to defeat the winter, I had some new windows put in the shed, and then I promptly uh, left one open last night, and it got down to freezing. So wonderful. So that's it. That's my makerspace. And somewhere off in the distance is a dog.